What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now, yes you guys, I'm moving and <laughs> this video is really deep and we have a lot to talk about so come inside. Okay everybody, I know the title shocking and I know uh, there's been a lot going on in my personal life um, but I think it's time to just sit down and give you guys a really real brutal, honest life update. Nothing crazy, no horrible bad news, but there has been a lot of major shifts happening in my personal life, um, in my business side of things, which has been amazing, but personal, there has been a lot happening. So we're gonna go on a little journey, but you guys, I can't believe it. I really am moving. This isn't clickbait, this title wasn't to be funny. Um, there's been a lot of so many uh, crazy things behind the scenes and I wanted to sit down, share everything with you guys and come along this journey. All right, everyone, hi. And I know my intro was like, Jeffrey, what is going on? But um, I just wanna turn on the camera and just talk and vent and let you guys know what's been happening. There's been so many things I haven't been ready to talk about but I do want to let everyone know that for the first time in my life, at 35 years old, I am finally leaving California. Some of you probably aren't shocked, a lot of you may be uh, shocked by the, that news, but I am gonna sell this house. And I wanna dive into, of course, why. This is a very big, shocking life change for me, but 2020, and I think I've said this a million times, but it really took it out of me. And I had so much time during COVID and lockdown and quarantine to really reevaluate my entire life. And I finally had a lot of time to address things that I was not ready to address with myself, was too scared to deal with my personal uh, issues, um, and so many mental things that I was running from so I'm selling this house I need to say goodbye to California for a second my businesses are here Jeffree Star Cosmetics killer merch those are not going anywhere from California of course um, but me personally for my mental health and the next chapter of my life and my journey I need to step away and you guys know I live in Wyoming part-time now full-time and I really needed to do it for me. Now this decision was astronomically hard. There's so many factors in my life um, and after months, I think I'm ready. I'm the first person to admit I'm a very damaged person. I've been through so much trauma, so I've lived 10 lives and I have been through so many things that I never wanted to deal with. So. I think I just kind of want to go back and replay 2019. I had some of the biggest wins of my entire career and I had some of the biggest losses of my entire life. And instead of healing from those traumas, I ran, I covered it up um, and I never got to address it. So just being so open and candid, I lost, you guys know I lost two dogs in 19. I lost the love of my life, the one person that I've truly been in love with is not in my life anymore and those things however they seem to someone else were so devastating to me personally and I'm so grateful for my relationship I'm always gonna keep it sacred I'm never gonna talk about anything I know that people love drama and tea and I've been such a major player in those emotions and I haven't in a long time and I know that the word drama is stuck to my name maybe forever but I know who I am standing here today and I had to face a lot of demons I had to look in the mirror and really 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 self reflect and being in this big house is so lonely it really is and it, it, it wasn't at first but it's really really lonely here um, I'm just one person now you know, my mom has lived with me. I've had friends, I've had family, I've had cousins, I've had employees stay with me. Obviously, this is, uh, this is like a hotel, basically. And it's, ju it's just not for me anymore. It's time to move on, it's time to grow, and 
I don't think I can do it here. But I really wanna go back to not letting myself heal, dealing with so much trauma. I, I'm gonna use that word a lot today because I've, I've had so much. And if you don't deal with your demons, they're gonna haunt you and eat you alive. When my second dog, Daddy, passed away, I still have a really, really hard time talking about it. I miss the dogs a lot. Every day I think about them and I thought I was okay last year and I really wasn't. The only thing keeping me distracted was filming my series, putting out the conspiracy palette with Shane and those were life-changing moments. Those were some of the biggest moments of my career. It was such a high to be in the midst of full depression and heartbreak coming and we're filming a series and it was the only thing distracting me I think from really going down a place where I don't I don't I don't know I don't even want to think about it but it was such a blessing to be able to have that distraction and when the launch happened and the distraction was over reality really hit me I look back and I think that I was existing without slowing down I was just there and I'm such a workhorse, I have such a strong work ethic and I just masked all my pain with work. I got back on the road, I was doing meet and greets every other week, I was traveling on an airplane every day and I was running from my problems. I didn't address them and it was such an awful mistake but I didn't fully know what was going on. Um, internally. I, I wasn't ready to view myself and really work on it. I really wasn't. And I think so many people have put me on a pedestal sometimes of what I should be, what I shouldn't be, how I should act. And I finally had to let that all go. I used to amplify things and do things because I thought everyone would like it. And that's one of the hardest things to admit. I felt like since I joined YouTube until now, the first few years was like there's no handbook for this there's no I, I literally went from you guys living in a two-bedroom apartment seven years ago I had five hundred dollars to my name to five years later my brand made its first five like five hundred million dollars how could I even fathom or understand what that meant I went from working at the mall at Mac to being a CEO and then I inserted YouTube, and I fell in love, and I expanded my family, and I invested into so many things and businesses, and it was a whirlwind of craziness, beautiful energy, uh, insane times, and then Corona happened, <laughs> and COVID happened, and I was leaving 2019 with so much pain, and I found this place, and obviously we had no idea COVID would happen, and when I found it, it just felt right. Do I need to be in a house this big? Of course I don't. My ego at the time thought I did. And I, had, I wanted to prove to myself, how big can I take this? This whole entire brand, the vision of Jeffree Star Cosmetics and myself, how big can I grow this? And I manifested every single thing. And I'm so proud of that. But internally, I was suffering immensely. I wasn't telling the people that love me around and that surrounded me and who were on my team how, what was really happening and that was one of my biggest regrets is not asking for help I know I may be talking all over the place I just have so many thoughts in my head but I just wanted to be really candid with you guys and let you know that I when I fell in love I feel like it opened up internally something so beautiful that I had never experienced before and I really miss it, but I'm so grateful for the past because I actually, from being in love with someone, I actually really loved myself for the first time in a long time. I'm just really grateful. I know that sounds so weird, but I really think that the only person I'll ever be in love with came and went in my life. And I know that sounds, however it sounds to anyone, I don't know, but that's just how I feel. And that's okay. I'm not currently searching for love. I don't want to be in a relationship. I cherish all the memories I had, but I had to stop running. I had to stop hanging out with idiots. I had to stop uh, dating. And I had to just really focus on me. Everything was a distraction. I, I had to stop it all. So it may sound really crazy, but 
I'm ready to let go of so much. I'm ready to really focus on my inner happiness and my peace. And I didn't think I would ever be ready to sit here on camera and tell anyone this because I've been ridiculed, I've been degraded, I have been called every name in the book and I think I just have to really be free again and just live my life and that's where I'm at. So what does that mean? It means that I'm finally ready to share that 2020 really almost took me out. Like really, really almost took me out. I don't want to cry today. I don't want to get really dark and dramatic and emotional, but last summer was one of the only times I've ever contemplated, should I be alive? And that was so heavy. What, what was my purpose? How did I get here? And I came to the conclusion that I really needed help with why I react the way I react, why I do the things I do. Um, I somehow got caught up in joining this YouTube space and the beauty world. Now the beauty community is insane. I don't even think there is one anymore currently, today. But I was part of the problem. But I also got swept up into so many other people's bullshit. And I'll regret that forever. All the crazy things that have happened publicly. So many things will never be said. And that's what I want to let you guys know is I don't want to entertain drama. I haven't in months and months and I've been attacked 20 times and I just ignore it now and I do me. I can't clap back at everyone. I can't make sit down videos, letting people know the truth. But I really used to think that's what I had to do. As soon as something happened behind the scenes, I had to react publicly and let everyone know what happened and say my side of the story. And I have to be right. And I regret that and I really got caught up in this like the, the movie Mean Girls, right? It's so iconic. We all love it. It's fun. But the character Regina George was something that I started to really fall into and slip into. I really want to sit here and let you guys know like I'm sorry as well. This isn't an apology video. This isn't me trying to say sorry about anything in the past, which I'll always forever be. This is just me saying I'm sorry to anyone I've ever hurt. I'm sorry that I let people hurt me. And I'm sorry I trusted so hard with friends in my past, but a lot of the times I amplify things when I should have just shut up. I made things 10 times worse so many times and I don't even know who that person was. And I really got caught up in the mean girl, Regina George character, I really did. And we can all make jokes about how she got hit by the bus and ended up in the back brace. Girl, same. And this is funny because this is the first video I'm filming without the back brace finally, my doctor has cleared me, I'm healing really good, but the accident and everything else that has happened leading up to that, everything happens for a reason. I think my accident really, really happened for a reason. I think that all the drama and all the ugliness that happened last summer was meant to be. Whatever higher power or life or God or anything that you guys believe in, it was supposed to happen. And it was one of the most humbling experiences. Um, you guys, uh, bitch, we all know, let's, 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 let's be really, really, really transparent. I lost millions of followers. I had people turn on me and all because of what someone else made up. Now we know there's a million things leading up to that. I don't want to dive into that ever again and we're not going to talk about it. But um, fully, I just think that the past is the past. We all know what happened. It is what it is. It's over. It's dead and gone. But I just wanted to share what I was going through. And it was God awful. I'm never gonna play the victim. I know my parts that I've played in certain things and I'll always be embarrassed by that. And I'm here now and I think I'm really ready to say it. It's been hard for me to spit this out today, but last year I sought help and I started therapy. And I haven't gone to therapy since high school, you guys. Um, if you don't know, I used to be really into self-mutilation and so many awful things in high school. And um, my mom had me get help back then and it was, it was actually beneficial, which I never wanted to admit. And it came to a point where I really wanted to understand my brain, understand my emotions and get things into control. Why am I lashing out? Why am I doing the things that I'm doing? And I really needed self-discovery and I needed to heal. I moved into this massive home, lost basically two children. That's, that's what my dogs mean to me. They're my life and my they're my, they're my kids. I lost basically two dogs, the love of my life, had the biggest moment of my career, and never dealt with any of the emotions, the pain, the trauma, any of it. 
even the good parts. I wasn't even enjoying the good parts. I was just go, 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 go. And I burnt myself out. And I sat with my family, I poured my heart out, and I reached out to someone through a friend that had really been going through something. And they said, hey, just here, here's this therapist number. If you're ever ready, call. I stared at that number for months, being so afraid to call. And I finally picked up the phone because what did I have to be afraid of? I had done so much damage to myself internally and I really finally wanted to heal. I think I was afraid to heal. I don't know why, I don't even know how to articulate it, but I was afraid to get better and work on myself. And that was one of the scariest humps that I had to get over. And once I started going through and processing everything and dealing with it all. It, it was like cracking open a safe and everything was just pouring out, all the emotions. I'm still healing. I don't know if I'll ever be healed <laughs> from, from, from my past, you know? And I'm just so thankful that I'm in the place I am now. So we're not leaving this video in an awful place. I'm leaving this in the best place. Can you imagine I'm actually in a really, really great place mentally? I feel like I'm thriving um, closer to my family than ever before. I'm really focused on creating again and I'm happy. <laughs> I really am. Oh my, it just sounds so crazy. I'm happy again and I don't want to cry. We're not crying today. <sighs> oh, but I'm, I'm happy and I want to cry because I'm happy. And I, I didn't know if after my breakup and if, if I could be happy again. So what does this mean now? It means that I'm ready to stop being a single person in a 25,000 square foot home. Let a family enjoy this. Let someone else enjoy this. I'm proud of where I've gotten to, of course, but I need to have a new energy. So am I leaving California forever? Of course not. Am I moving to Wyoming as my main residency? Absolutely. I love it out there. Now I know the easy thing if you don't like me or you may have uh, any thoughts about me in a bad way, you may think Jeffrey's going to Wyoming because of taxes and money. And Yes, the taxes are beautiful on, on some aspects, but it's my problem that I, I, I don't, I'm not sure how to say this yet or, or how to articulate it, but Jeffrey Star, the person also became to me, I always say like a character because I'll amplify things and I literally had nothing seven years ago and I got way too much, maybe some could say, and I'll go back to the, there's no handbook of life. There was no guidance for me of, oh my God, you went from this to this, how do you handle it all? Filling the void with so many things because I can and I could. I guess I've never told anyone this yet, but the excess, it was almost like hoarding in a way. It feels so freeing to be able to just let go of so much. I'm very privileged to be able to have the things I have. I can't believe that I've gotten this far in life as far as my career and the goals I've wanted to achieve. And there's more to me. I don't want to talk in the third person like an idiot, but there's more to me. But there, and there is, there is more to Jeffree Star than just the facade that I think so many people have seen. And I amplified that because I thought that that's what people wanted. And that's not me anymore. Of course I love collecting. So I, I'm gonna have a car collection forever. I'm gonna have a few properties. I love investing. I'm all about the business. I did an entire series about the cosmetics industry. I pulled the curtain behind it all and showed you everything. And creating is where it's at. Shopping doesn't turn me on anymore. It doesn't fill the void of the emptiness. It doesn't, it really doesn't. So this isn't a statement of I'm never gonna buy a nice thing again. This is just me letting you guys know a lot of major changes that I've had to implement mentally, physically. Um, I know I'm rambling, but because I, I just have so much to talk about. <laughs> so this may be a long video. I hope you guys can stick it out. But when it when it comes to my image, I, I really played into it too hard. And my, my eating habits, my, the things that I was presenting, the way I was acting, 
I would eat fast food, you guys, six times a week. I have one of the fastest metabolisms, I think, ever. That's just how my family are. Every, every male in my family is thin, no matter how young or old. I've been the same weight since high school, but I was getting thinner. I wasn't taking care of myself while also eating like junk. So no, I don't have an eating disorder and there's nothing like that. I was just eating so unhealthy and I was playing up into the yes, Jack in the Box, McDonald's, everything, yay. And it was really unhealthy, really unhealthy. So I stopped, I stopped cold turkey and I felt like I was gonna die. I know that sounds so dramatic, but it was awful. For a few months, I was going through a lot changing my entire diet, working out for the first time in years. I have a gym sitting in this house that I never used. It looked great on camera, I just stared at it. So this may sound crazy, but I saw, I've been seeing comments randomly, they're not crazy, but randomly it's like, oh, Jeffrey, you look a little fuller. Jeffrey, you look a little more plump. I love it, I could cry hearing that. Um, I'm gonna throw in a clip of, of me on my channel when I filmed a video three, four years ago. I look skeletal, I look so thin, and I see me just working and working and working and not taking care of me. So I know this is another shocker, but I've stopped eating fast food. I had to stop. And for personal reasons, I think it was making me mentally unhappy. It was, it was adding on to it. Fast food wasn't making me unhappy. I think it was contributing to how low I was feeling. During the lockdown, I did a full 360 and really focused on me. Mentally, physically, my heart, my happiness, and I, I'm just so proud to say I'm happy. I know it sounds so silly and, and weird maybe to some people, but I'm so ready for the next chapter. So what does that mean? Baby, as this video goes live, I'm putting this house for sale. I need to get away from California and having its day-to-day -day, uh, atmosphere. I think I've gotten all I can out of this state. And I'll be visiting, of course, every month. I'll be shooting at my studio. We'll be doing campaigns. My offices are still here. My team is here. No, not everyone is moving to Wyoming. A few people are to join my other companies, but um, everyone's staying put. I'm ready to soar. I'm ready to change. The next evolution is, is here for me, and um, I'm ready for it, you guys. I really, really am. Now, during the lockdown, I learned a lot about myself. There was months and months and months of isolation, and it was psychologically a lot, from traveling every week, meet and greets, meeting people, hugging people, having real interactions with fans and customers and subscribers, it all came to a halt. And I know everyone watching this, all of our lives were disrupted. And it really, really got me, it really did. And it took a while to get out of that rut. But I'm also so grateful I got to be in this house and actually really heal. There was a lot of people staying with me. I had to ask everyone to go, to just let them fly and really be alone. So when I was sitting here for the very first time in this house alone, no one around me, no bodyguards, no assistants, no lawyers, no employees, I hadn't realized there was always people around me. I was always working, I was always doing something, I was always taking care of someone, and no one was taking care of me, especially not myself. And that was the problem. It's no one's fault but me. So I'm on the me train again. I'm focusing on myself, and my peace and happiness and my mental health is really, really good. And I think that mental health, a lot of times people don't take it serious, they laugh, that word those two words combined is just, it's, it's become very generic, but I think mental health is so important and people forget sometimes that we're all just people. There's still a lot of work to be done. I'm like a car where you're under the hood and baby, there's a lot of maintenance. So I'm not trying to tell everyone, hi everyone, I'm great forever. Like, no, I'm a human being. I'm gonna make a million more mistakes, but I've learned from so many of my personal past mistakes. And especially this year, I've had a lot of people attack me, we all know my name gets clicks and views and la la la, and I haven't responded to any of it, and I won't, and I haven't in a long time, and I think people can't process the old Jeffrey is dead and gone. Um, that person doesn't exist anymore, and I've really found myself again. I'm not lost. Um, I don't want to clap back at anyone. I don't want to make 
uh, videos exposing, none of that is a turn on, none of that is exciting, none of that is positive. And if you're looking for that, I think those people are mostly all gone now. <laughs> and they're, 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 that, that behavior hasn't existed in a, in a while, but I really had to prove it to myself. I'm not even sure how to end this video. I just wanted to sit down, vent, and let you guys know what's been happening with me personally. Thank you guys for listening with an open heart and open mind. And I'm ready for the rest of the year. I can't wait to make you guys more proud and show you what is left for 2021. But um, I'm healing. I'm discovering myself again and I feel amazing. So thank you guys if you've made it this far. I appreciate you. I love you guys, each and every single one of you so much. And I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.